Hi, my name is Sean and I'm here with XenonSupply.com. Today we're shooting on site at our friendly neighborhood M&M Auto Body Shop on La Brea in Mid-City Los Angeles. In this video I'll be showing you how to install HIDs on this 2013 Chevrolet Impala. Let's get started. Today we'll be using the 9006 HID kit from XenonSupply.com. Included in this kit are two 9006 HID bulbs, two premium ballasts, two 3M mounting pads, zip ties to tidy up the wiring, and the optional wiring harness. The first thing we'll be doing is showing you how to open up the dust cover and access the headlight bulb. I've gone ahead and removed the cover on the fuse box. We're gonna pull out this windshield wiper tube and then just twist counterclockwise to unlock the dust cover. And do the same, twist counterclockwise to unlock the bulb. see here there's a small clip. Just gotta unclip it and pull the bulb out. It's pretty tight. There you go. This is the signal connector from the vehicle that we're using uh, later on. Here I'll be showing how to drill the hole in the dust cover so that we can feed the HID bulb wires through and plug up that hole with the rubber grommet. We'll be using a drill and a one inch drill bit. You can also use a one inch hole saw. Let's go ahead and just drill that hole. You just wanna make sure that this male oval plug fits through the hole. That's the biggest plug. And then all the other ones will fit through just fine. I'm going to start feeding it in from the inside of the dust cover just because this is the side that the bulb will be on. And just go ahead and see the grooves here. Just fit the grooves around into this hole to create a nice seal. Okay, there we go. You can see here I have a good seal on both sides and we can easily pull and tug the wires back and forth. Here we'll be showing how to insert the HID bulb. Uh, all you have to do is just match up the grooves, the three notches, just like that. There we go. Twist to lock in. Now next we're going to connect the plugs together. All right, that's going to power our ballast. And these two wires are going to power our bulbs from the ballast. Ballast power wire. Now here I'll be showing you the wiring harness setup if you're intending on installing it. The red wire that's coming out of the harness will go to the positive terminal, this little 10 millimeter bolt here on the battery. And the black grounding wire will go to this bolt on the chassis either of these, really. Um, they're perfectly good grounds. Uh, the vehicle is using them existingly. And the rest of the wiring um, is really just these uh, two plugs. There'll be two of these, one on each side of the car. And this female plug will actually plug into the power wire that we're connecting to the vehicle. And this will give the harness signal. Since we're not using this harness for the installation, uh, video. We're just going to connect it directly into the ballast and I'm tucking the ballast away after we mount on the 3M mounting tape into this battery compartment and the other two wires are just the male and female bulb wire plugs that you just plug in together. Very straightforward and simple and we're going to go ahead and test the HID lights to make sure they work. And then we're going to tidy up the wiring, mount the ballast, and call it a day. 
go ahead and test the lights, make sure everything's working correctly in this car. Turn your vehicle. Lights are on, both sides. Check the high beam functionality. That seems to be working just fine. Right turn signal, left turn signal. Looks like everything's good. Let's go ahead and tidy up the wiring, mount the ballast, and finish up this installation. On the driver's side, we'll be mounting the ballast in this battery compartment. There's a nice big open area inside this plastic housing. Let's go ahead and peel off the 3M mounting pad. And stick it on. Once on there good, you can just replace the battery cover. Now the passenger side, what we'll be mounting the ballast is on this flat surface here to the right of the headlight, headlamp I should say. Let's go ahead and peel off the 3M tape and stick it on nice and tight. There we go. Now we just have to tidy up the wiring with the zip ties and that wraps up the insulation. This completes the HID insulation for the 2013 Chevrolet Impala. Now if you have any questions or additional inquiries, please contact us at help at xenonsupply.com or give us a call at 1-800-840-3240. Again, the products seen today can be purchased at www.xenonsupply.com or through the link below. We hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Thank you.